Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's Will, and we here. I got my gameplay. We can continue the five days of Christmas. I'm so happy that I was able to get this gameplay. Oh man, it was it was definitely a, a worrisome task. I was always worried that that uh, <laughs> my device was gonna turn off on me, but we got it. Um, so I'm not even gonna waste any time. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and share the video because today we are going to be talking about my top five favorite things that I look forward to when it comes to Christmas. I know everybody has their own little thing that they like or things that they want to do or like anything involving Christmas, you know you're on it. This is my top five. And I normally don't have favorites. I don't. I don't, but I, I got him for this. I got him for this. <laughs> so, I'm not going to waste any time. Let's jump right into it. So, number five. And this is in order. This is in order. This is, this is not a random list. No, this is in order from the least favorite to the top of the top. But it's still a favorite, so don't discredit me. My number five favorite thing about Christmas is Mariah Carey. Oh, I mean Christmas music. Actually, I think I just mean Mariah Carey. Why, you ask? I mean, it's Mariah Carey. You know, like... <laughs> what, what else do you really even need to say about that? So, number four. <laughs> Christmas lights. Now, I fuck with lights heavy. Uh, lights are a very important thing to me for some reason. And it's not anything super deep or anything like that. I really just like lights. <laughs> like, I got lights in my room, uh, the LED ones that you can change um, on your phone that react to music and stuff. I love them. I use them every day. Love lights. And Christmas is literally just another time for me to get to enjoy lights because they are everywhere. I don't know about this year because um, the boy ain't outside, but still, it's lights everywhere. You got lights on the tree, you got lights on the buildings, you got lights in front of the house, you know, like it's lights everywhere. Uh, back in Chicago, um, they have like these uh, events going on sometimes where uh, it's like lights at the zoo, they call them zoo lights. Um, and then it's just like this Christmas parade festival thing downtown and I've been before but yeah the lights, the lights are literally everywhere um, it's a great thing to like just see all the lights at night especially um, people have them in the morning which I don't know why but like it's just great to see them at night uh, it's just fun it's, it's a fun way to, to set the set the atmosphere of Christmas time so that's my number four uh, are Christmas lights. My number three, Home Alone. Macaulay Culkin. That face, the <gasps> face, that one? Yeah, that one? Bruh, you can't beat it. Well, actually you can. I'm gonna actually do that after this, but, um. Bro, I, like Home Alone is just one of those Christmas movies that like I've never got tired of, and I don't really watch Christmas movies as much anymore. But Home Alone was like one of the first ones that I saw, where it was like, like this is this could I wish this was me, <laughs> like I, cause it's, you got this little kid who is at the crib by himself. And these goofy burglars try to come in and he's, he's just bamboozling them the whole time. Like, that sounds fun. That sounds like human Tom and Jerry. It's literally human Tom and Jerry. But you don't have to worry about getting caught or anything like that. Because you're kidding. That's a movie. <laughs> so, I've always loved Home Alone. Um, I can't remember exactly how many movies that it has. But I've always just thought about Home Alone when it comes to Christmas and 
you know, I'm a, I'm a person that really likes comedy movies. So anything that's funny, I'm going to, you know, pretty much be down with it. And Home Alone was one of those ones that I saw early on in my childhood where it was like, I remember this because it was just so funny and I could relate to it so well. Not because I was in that situation, but because I wanted to be. <laughs> um, so that's number three, Home Alone. Uh, number two. Now, number two, man. Number two, number two. I can't tell you how many times I've watched any iteration of this, but since we're talking about Christmas, just the Christmas version. Charlie Brown, bro. Oh my God. I love Charlie Brown. Bro. Like, Charlie Brown, it was one of those shows that have, like, things for the adults, things for the kids, and it's just, it's just fun, it's just fun to watch, it's funny, it's, 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 it's a story to it, which I really don't care for anymore, but it's, it's, it was always just fun to watch it, I love when they would play the piano and do their little mm, mm, dance, I, I actually, what, what is that, <laughs> I don't even know what that sound, how does that sound mean, mean the dance, I don't know, but it was always fun seeing those scenes and I don't really remember exactly all of the characters' names, but bro, like Charlie Brown was just just great to me, bro. Like I literally can watch Charlie Brown in any form that it takes and I'm good. Though I never understood why that one character was just so dirty all the time. Like it was like he had the, like an aura of dirt around him, like do y'all remember that? Like, I, I don't understand why he had that. But, yeah, that was a thing. Um, But, I love Charlie Brown. Charlie Brown is amazing. So, that's my number two. And before I go to my number one, I'm going to throw some honorable mentions out there. Just so whoever gets offended for me not picking it, just know it was in my thoughts. Trees. Now, trees aren't really that big of a deal to me, but they involve light, so I'm cool with it. But I will give trees credit, not for it being a tree itself, but just being a placeholder to hold my candy. I will, oh my god, I used to take candy canes off the tree all the time. Oh, the candy canes that aren't peppermint, the candy canes. The ones, like the Spongebob ones and the Jolly Rancher ones, bruh, couldn't get enough of them. Like, I remember when I was really, really little, they used to have to hide them from me. Because, <laughs> like, they were, they were, they were my source of candy at the time, and I used to just keep taking them. They, it was crazy. That was, that was, that was bad. Um, but, got, I, I gotta give respect to the trees, man. I gotta give respect to the trees, and I ain't gonna lie. When a tree is set up nicely, they do be looking pretty decent. So I, I, I give them credit for that. So uh, good one on your trees. Um, another thing, I guess. Now I'm 50 50 with it. Snow. Like, I fuck with you, Snow. I do. But one, you ain't here this year. So I can't really tell you whether or not I'm really feeling you. But. When you are here, you look, you look, you look nice. You know, you look, you look well defined. You look like you, you got, you got a purpose, even though you really don't. I, 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 I fuck with you, Snow. I do, I do. I don't like the cold. I don't like that. I don't like slipping outside on ice and falling in the snow. But when I look at it out my window, I, I, I can, I can, I can get behind it. I can get behind Snow. So, we cool snow. You 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 want to live. And then the last thing before I get to the number one, the prices at stores. It's amazing when you have money at least. Cause I'm broke. I'm a broke boy. So I can't I can't benefit from any of that stuff. But, bro, they they like they like start Christmas sales in October. <laughs> <laughs> they skip back Friday and stuff. They just go to Christmas sales, but the closer you get, the more the sales increase. I sound like I'm an adult. I sound like I'm like scavenging for coupons. Oh my. I'm only 22. 
Anyways, so I fuck with the prices, man. I fuck with the prices. Speaking of prices, we got our number one. Now I'm gonna need everybody in the crowd in participation to say it with me, okay? My number one favorite thing about Christmas are the gifts. 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 Donations. 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 It's all of them. All of them. It's the best thing when you get a gift and you were like 10 years old. And you were. <laughs> Just for you not to get it. <laughs> but for real though, like, getting gifts is always fun, uh, especially when the gift is an actually good one. <laughs> um, and it's always just knowing that somebody is, you know, looking out for you, want to see you happy, and get you a gift that they think is a good way to express that. Um, and. I guess it's just one of those, I guess it's just like the whole charitable thing about it. You know, it's weird that it takes the whole year to, to be nice and charitable to people and, and places, but you know, when it happens, you, I guess you can't complain. So it's always nice to see it. It's always nice to get it. It's always nice to, uh, to give it to other people. But that's my top five. I am so happy that I was able to record this video because we are still on track for the five days of Christmas. Tomorrow is the 24th. We're almost there. We are almost at the end of this. Man, it's crazy. Crazy year, man. But that's all I got. Let me know in the comments what y'all favorite things are about Christmas. And tomorrow just to give you a sneak preview we're gonna be talking about the things i don't like about christmas because it's a lot so i'll catch y'all in tomorrow's video i'm gone